in Hyundai Motors, only mechanical engineering was allowed. In the procedure, there were three rounds, the written test, the GD and the personal interview. In written test, there were three sections. The first section was of uh, technical questions. It consisted of 30 questions which were to be done in, 30 min uh, in half an hour, yes, 30 minutes. And then second section, there was FT and English. Again, 30 questions which were to be done in half an hour. And third section was of psychometric test, which consisted of 45 questions in 15 minutes. Uh, after the written test, uh, 20 students out of 45 students were shortlisted for the GD round and in GD, two groups, are, two groups were made. Uh, in my group, the topic was politicians, police or public, who is culprit? And the main focus was on confidence rather than the content and the one who can speak out but in a polite way. The next round was personal interview and the panel consisted of four people. One was GM, one was production head and the third one was HR guy. The fourth one I don't remember. And the interview started with the HR question that tell me about myself. I told them about my family background, my education, extracurricular activities and my hobbies. Then the technical interview started and the main focus was on the technical concepts and that were very basic in nature and main core areas were manufacturing, IC engine and automobile engineering. Then technical interview started and the first question was what is welding. I told them about welding and they asked me about types of welding. Then I told them about electric arm welding, MIG welding, spot welding etc. Then they asked me is filler material always needed. I told them no in spot welding it is not necessary. Then the next question was what is difference between electric arc welding and spot welding. And the next question again they asked me is, uh, is what is MIG welding. And the last question was what was uh, in welding session the last question was what factors affect welding. Then they asked me what is casting and what is forging. I told them about, about casting and forging. Then they asked about what uh, types of forging. I told them hot forging and cold forging. Then they asked what is hot forging and what is cold forging. I told them about, re about recrystallization temperature. Then they asked what is recrystallization temperature uh, and what is the uh, eff uh, effect of recrystallization temperature on the iron and uh, other metals. Then they shifted to their core technical areas and asked me questions about IC engines and automobile engineering. Their first question was that uh, what is octane number and what is the significance of octane number in everyday use. I told them that uh, basically octane number is SUT to 1 and they seem to be very satisfied with the answer. And the next question was that if high octane petrol is put into a uh, regular car then what would happen. I explained them uh, that uh, it is not very effective. Uh, the oil marketing companies say that it will increase average but it is not that much effective. It is just a marketing concept. Uh, then they asked me what is differential and how differential works in automo uh, automobiles. I explained them everything and they asked me uh, uh, how differential works in train. That was a tricky question but uh, luckily I knew that I knew the answer. Uh, I explained them on a piece of paper that how the centrifugal forces, forces while uh, turning uh, put the train uh, on the outer the radius and the trapezoidal shape of the tires and the, keeping the RPM same and the uh, distance travelled by the outer tire is more and inner tire is less and they seem satisfied. Then they asked me about my extracurricular activities which I have done in my college. I told them about that Baha essay which I had done in 2012 and they asked what is the Baha essay and I explained them everything and they asked that in which, in which section you were working. I told them uh, that I was in brakes and tire section. Then they started in that section. First of, all, first of all they asked that what is suspension. I explained the work of suspension. Then they said what are types of suspension. I said that Macpherson studs and double wish one. They were seemed to be satisfied and asked me that what is the difference between Macpherson studs and double wish one. I told them about the, 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 about the travel of the tire and all that. They seemed to be satisfied. And the next question was that uh, what are the components of Macpherson studs. I told them the spring, the, uh, the shock absorber and the uh, bones etc. And, the, and then they shifted to brakes. Their first question was that uh, what is brake and the, what is the function of brake. I told them that it converts kinetic energy into heat energy and uh, stops the vehicle and, and helps in stopping the vehicle. And they asked that what are, what are the types of brakes. I told them that drum brakes and disc brakes. These are the basically two types but there are uh, various other methods to apply the brakes like hydraulic forces or mechanical forces etc. They seem to be very satisfied. And the next question was that uh, what is the different, uh, what, which brake is better, the drum brake or the disc brake? I told them that disc brake, they asked why. I told them that uh, heat dissipation is very good and uh, in cases of the rainy days, the water does not collect in the drum, which reduces the efficiency of drum brake, but in disc brake, the water splashes uh, out regularly uh, in the uh, environment. Then they asked me that what is ABS and how does ABS works. I explained that what is ABS and I explained that it works on the whole release, whole release principle of the braking and they asked that what is the advantages of using ABS. I explained the, all the advantages of the uh, rainy season and all that 
and then the next question they asked me that uh, is brake force equally distributed on all the four wheels I said that no it is uh, divided by proportional wall which is used in the brake liners and I explained that 70% of force uh, goes in the front wheel and 30% of force goes in the rear wheels then they asked that why more force on the, fr uh, on the front wheels I explained all the reasons of the uh, frictional forces and all that and the next question was that uh, uh, our uh, proportion was today used I said that uh, in cheaper versions of cars that they are still being used but in higher versions the ABD is being now installed that is the electronic brake force distribution and they seem to be very satisfied and after that they uh, last uh, the, the lastly they asked me two questions about the HR part the first one was that how do you handle stress I explained them, I explained them that stress is uh, uh, energy for me it is not a disappointing, disappointing factor to me and then they asked that are you comfortable living in Chennai and I said that I am comfortable, I'm comfortable I live there. Uh, in useful tips, uh, be confident and be very very clear in your core basic, uh, core basic technical concepts. As you can see that in my interview they asked me a lot of technical, uh, technical questions and all of them were very basic in nature but they expected me to answer very thoroughly and very clearly.